Next up, let's talk about those bottom four comparison operators that we skipped over. They all have to do with equality. It's the 21st century. It's time we finally confront equality, meaning the four equality operators that we ignored in the last video. They seem kind of similar, at least two of them, there are two groups that seem similar. We have equality, which is two equal signs, as you can see here, and then another version of equality called strict equality with three equal signs, and then we have non-equality with one and two. Let's start by talking about double equals versus triple equals. What is the difference? Well, let's start with double equals. Double equals is just usually referred to as the equality operator. It checks for equality of values, but it doesn't care about type. So the types of data that you're comparing don't matter. It's going to coerce both values to a common type. And coerce is just a fancy way of saying convert. It's going to try and get them to be a, the same type so it can compare them directly as one type. And once they're converted, if they have the same value, then it returns true. It evaluates to true. Otherwise, we get false. Now, this can lead to some unexpected results. But let's take a look at some expected results first. 4 equals 4. That makes sense. What about A equals A? Great. We could even do false equals false. Nope, not one equals sign. That is assigning something, as we've already seen with variables. That's how you assign a value. 2 is comparison. So that's true. All right. But as I mentioned, things can get odd. We have things like this. If I take a number and I compare it to a string of the same number, that's giving me true. Now, these aren't equal. These are different values. They are completely different in terms of JavaScript. One is a number, one is a string. But remember, double equals will try and get them to be a common type. So it converts them to a common type, and then it decides, oh, yeah, they have the same value. Same thing with some maybe less expected things, zero and an empty string. So zero double equals a string with S is false, but an empty string is true. Behind the scenes, JavaScript is converting these to a similar type, and it decides they are equal. We'll talk about why in just a bit. Why is zero similar to an empty string? Obviously, true double equals false is going to be false. But we also have things like zero, let me clear this, zero double equals false. Those are definitely different values. One is a number, one is a Boolean, but it still comes out true. And then one more example, null and undefined. As we saw, these are two distinct values, two separate primitives, but they are considered equal when we use two equal signs. All right, so we're gonna get to triple equals in just a moment but we're gonna take a detour to talk about why some of this happens. What is actually happening behind the scenes that makes JavaScript say zero is double equals to an empty string or zero is double equal false. It doesn't seem all that logical, but there is some reasoning behind it. 